So today uh, I want to go over this one poem that's part of your last uh, poetry discussion board. And this is a, a poem by uh, William Wordsworth called The World is Too Much With Us. Um, this is a really good example of the kind of poetry that comes out of the what's referred to as the Romantic era, which is towards the uh, end of the um, uh, 17th century or 18th century, excuse me. So we're talking about the 1780s up through the early um, 1800s. Now, Romanticism has had a real impact on poetry. Uh, we even 20th century poets, everybody still kind of a lot of people still really rely on this sort of romantic ideal. Now, when we talk about romanticism, we're not talking about like romance with love. Uh, the romantics um, were kind of a uh, reaction to the Enlightenment era, which is where we've got, you know, empirical science and science takes over and we think we can explain everything in the world with science and there's nothing kind of beyond our control. Uh, and this is kind of a reaction to that. And the Romanis, the Romantics uh, took the position that, you know, what we've done is we've kind of lost our humanity in the name of science. And they uh, really referred a lot to the natural world, to nature, to our own human uh, intuitions and human abilities to create. And, um, you know, that we have this sort of spontaneous, emotional, creative kind of a, a, a motivation that, that, that uh, we, we really should embrace and rely on. So for example, in empirical science in the, in the uh, Enlightenment age, they, they even made formulas to write the perfect poem and things like that. And the Romantics are a real re reaction to this kind of notion that nothing's a mystery, that there's that nature is just something that we're separate from. Uh, and that was kind of the enlightenment idea. We could manipulate and control our own environment in nature. Uh, and, and the romantics are, are kind of going with the position that we, we have to acknowledge our relationship with the natural world and that we're just one other part of that. So what I want to do is um, I'm going to kind of read through this poem and then I want to talk a little bit about it about how it sort of um, conveys these romantic ideas. Wordsworth is kind of considered the father of romanticism. He wrote a big long thing about it. Uh, I'm going to allow you to actually, you know, go ahead and do a little research on this. I think just a quick Wikipedia search of romanticism will kind of give you a, a kind of compliment the things that I've had to say. I don't want to lecture too long on this. So I'm going to kind of read through the poem once and then we'll kind of talk about it. So the world is too much with us, late and soon, getting and spending, we lay waste our powers. Little we see in nature that is ours, we've given our hearts away, a sordid boon. The sea that bears her bosom to the moon, the winds that will be howling at all hours, and are upgathered now like sleeping flowers for this, for everything, we're out of tune. It moves us not. Great God, I'd rather be a pagan suckled in a creed outworn. So might I, standing on this pleasant lee, have glimpses that would make me less forlorn. Have sight of Proteus rising from the sea, or hear old Triton below his, blow his wreathed horn. Okay, so um, if we kind of take this apart a little bit and we look at these uh, first four lines. So, so Wordsworth is saying, you know, we've, we've become too much part of the world as in worldly. Okay. Uh, the acquisition of things because the industrial revolution makes things plentiful and cheap. Uh, and, um, we, we become too engaged in that. And he, and he clarifies this when he says getting and spending, we lay waste our power. So what he's saying is, in this pursuit of acquisition, material uh, goods, material items, uh, we're, we're really kind of not using our powers of creativity, of imagination, uh, you know, the things that kind of make us human, our, our emotions in, in those kind of things. Little we see in, the na in nature that is ours, well, it's what he says, we don't see ourselves as part of nature. And what he kind of argues is, is we've given away, given our hearts away, a sordid boon. And sordid boon means 
yeah, we gave it away for, you know, the price, the cost is not good. Okay, so that's kind of that emotional part of it. So if we go to this next, um, we'll go, we'll go to these lines. So you'll notice the imagery in these lines are very kind of organic and natural. Okay, we have the sea, we have the winds, we have the flowers. Okay, so these are all very natural sort of uh, organic things, which is a hallmark of uh, romanticism. Okay, and what he's saying is, these are the things we've kind of given away. And this last part, he has kind of a passionate idea here. Okay, so, great God, I'd rather be a pagan suckled in creed outworn. So what he's referring to is, you know, back in the old days, the Romans and the Greeks, the mythology kind of stuff that you've probably been exposed to at some point. Uh, he said, I would rather be a pagan, not a Christian, uh, because these pagans, you know, if you've looked at this kind of mythology and these kind of things before, all of their gods were kind of connected to some part of nature. And the two he references here are kind of, um, uh, I, I, Proteus is not from the sea. I can't remember which one he is, but Triton is from the sea. If you've watched SpongeBob or, you know, um, Little Mermaid, you kind of got a handle on that one. So what he's saying is, he said, I'd rather be this so I would not be, I, that I could um, be more connected to nature because you know, these pagan gods were these more naturalistic, organic, all of them associated with some kind of natural uh, phenomenon, weather kind of stuff, the, the natural world around us. And so what he said, I, it would be, we'd be better off if, if we were back and connected to nature that way through these gods. So that's kind of the idea here. Um, so, um, Again, I'll, I, I'll tell you that, you know, you might, for this assignment, if you want to go ahead and kind of Wikipedia romanticism, it'll help because you kind of have to be able to explain it. But um, I, I'm, I'm, I kind of wanted to talk about this poem because I'm going to actually give you another poem that I'm not going to discuss. You're going to be on your own and to kind of make comparisons between the two. So I hope this helps and um, uh, good luck finishing out the semester.